the Zwift Triathlon Academy is back with the team of 2022. I'm excited to go and meet the six lucky athletes and find out a little bit more about them. And they don't know it yet, but in between the serious stuff like their induction, their kit collection, various testing and training, we've got more of a light-hearted challenge for them. So it's time to head into the specialised HQ to get to know the team a little bit more and find out some of the support they'll be getting from Zwift. there's a buzz going on behind me and it's understandable when you see the bike that has been revealed yet yeah, each of these athletes has been presented with their very own specialized shiv with this very funky new paintwork for 2022 along with lots of other cool kit but it isn't just about the kit these few days they are being put through their paces because it's about trying to optimize their athletic performance so they'll be starting off with a retool bike fit to get their right position then there's some metabolic testing in different positions we've got precision hydration running sweat tests and then i think the icing on the cake of this vip pro treatment is in here for the wind tunnel Specialised wind tunnel, and um, we're just running the Zwift Triathlon Academy athletes through the process. So the first thing they do is they get the lovely bikes. They then do a retool bike fit. We look at insoles. We look at leg length. Um, it's a whole comprehensive fit. Then we take them into the wind tunnel, and we do a baseline. So that is kind of like their comfortable position, and then we're tweaking it. Um, so we're doing we're doing runs at different yawn angles, and all the data comes up on the screens. Um, and then, yeah, we're trying to find the fastest position. And sometimes the fastest positions are very, very aggressive. You've got to ride 180K and run a marathon off the bike. So it's important to have that balance. So later on, um, they do a me metabolic testing. So therefore we're looking at the metabolic rate at different positions. Often if you're closed up like this, you're not gonna be able to breathe more. So, you know, and then we find where the aero is and the metabolic and we find that. And then that is what, I don't know, perfect's too strong a word, but it is the best fit for the athlete. It's not a case of doing it and then they go home. They have to work it. You've got to do some drills to hold these new positions. You know, you've got to look at it as a holistic approach, not just as a bike, an arm, you know, the contact points, your bottom, your arms and your hands and your feet. Everything's got to move together. You might need shins in your shoes. You might have a discrepancy with your leg length. So it's a, it's a whole, you know, like a whole half a day, you know, process for all these athletes just to make them as fast in Utopia as they are on a Queen K. <laughs> <laughs> This is sweat testing. So we're measuring the athlete's sweat sodium concentration, which is very individual to them, but varies massively from person to person so that we can hopefully help them get their hydration really dialed, especially in hotter conditions. Parts completed, it's now time to get to know a little more about what makes this year's team tick. Who are they? 
what motivates them, and what are their hopes and goals with this academy. Uh, I'm Carrie Stewart, and I'm from Seattle, Washington. I own a beer bar and bottle shop. Um, for this year, my goal is top three in my age group at Kona, top 10 overall. Um, my goal in every triathlon is first out of the water using least amount of energy as possible. Um, hold on on the uh, solid bike and then hold on on the run. <laughs> yeah, my name is Lars Wiegert. I came from Germany, born in Berlin, and now I li live near Hamburg, also a very nice city. So my sporting background is that I was a yeah, high performance athlete in rowing. Um, from around 2000 where I started rowing and, and then 2007 I um, first reached the um, national team and I was a part of the national team for 13 years. And after that I quit rowing, um, have done what I wanted to do, some bike races, some mountain bike races. And then I decided to um, try some triathlon in 2021. And it was not so bad. <laughs> my name is Sigru Hege Jernstad. Uh, I'm from Norway. My goal is a uh, podium in Kona. And uh, hopefully I will do a sub 10 in Kalmar, Ironman Kalmar. That's my goal. So my name is James Mann and I'm from Sydney, Australia. So I'm only kind of relatively recently into triathlon. I haven't been to Kona before, but I've qualified twice before. The first time I qualified, uh, I didn't expect to. Um, I came third in my age group and usually there was only one or two slots. Went along to roll down anyway, just to see what the process was like. And then they called my name out and I freaked out. And then I just felt like I wasn't ready and there's probably other people um, that really wanted to go and I didn't really know if I wanted to go, so I let it go. And then when I qualified again, I couldn't go because of COVID. Um, so qualifying for the third time and then knowing that I've got all the Zwift support behind me um, made it all, all the more sweeter. Uh, Neil Eddy from England. Uh, I'm Director of Sport and Communities at a school in Cornwall. Uh, I've run a lot of sporting events for primaries and secondary schools and I oversee uh, like a school games programme, and loads of initiatives and holiday programmes and stuff like that. Uh, my name is Emily Freeman. I'm from uh, Dorset in the United Kingdom and um, I'm a director of a touring caravan and camping park in Dorset. My goal that is sort of um, measurable is I want to, I have an A goal of going sub 9.45 um, and a B goal of going sub 10. Uh, those are sort of my big goals that I'd like to do that I can measure. Um, but obviously the unmeasurable goal is to just, yeah, obviously get on the podium or like, did you take the win? That would be like, it. yeah, you have to say it, don't you? Like, you don't want to say it because it's like, it depends so much on who's there on the day and what happens, but yeah, that would be the, the big goal, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Let's see, different tactics. Neil's going for the aero position. Sweat and cheers. <laughs> All right, guys, are you ready for a bit of fun? Yeah. Come on, I'm hoping so. I need a bit more energy from you guys. Um, you know at GTN we love a competition, so we have something a little bit fun and different for you in store. The challenge is there's a box of Lego on the table in front of you. When I shout go, you have got to try and build this model piece, and it's against the clock. Fastest person wins. That includes opening the box. Any questions? No. Not needed. Whilst holding the FTP, yeah, whilst in this egg mode. So the quicker you do it, the quicker the effort is over. All good? Let's do it. All righty. Three, two, one, go. Let's see different tactics. Neil's going for the aero position. We've got Lars and Gro going for comfort, but can they keep their FTP power? We got, we got an issue. <laughs> Jick here. What are we doing? Wow. And I think it's worth pointing out that this man did an Ironman only how many days ago? Five. Five. And Grow over there also did an Ironman only five days ago. So Lars here should be fresh no, in the mid. Middle, middle distance. <laughs> middle distance. Oh, five sorry. Yes, so we have all of the athletes who just, but that is half of what they <laughs> see <doing>. Come on. <laughs> Guys, that's five minutes at your FTP. Good work. 
everybody. Has he done his sweat test yet? <laughs> what have we got here? We've suddenly got a lead coming, coming through. All right. We have a winner. Well done, guys. You guys can all just pedal down. Sweat and tears. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Woo! Good effort, guys. <laughs> who needs who needs sweat testing when we've got when we've got a time on a turbo? Well, congratulations, guys. Um, well done to our winner. What was your tactic, Lars? Look at the um, yeah. Stop pedaling with his tactic. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit lower than my FTP. Oh, here oh. it comes out. <laughs> Not such a shaky head, so. <laughs> but it's still going. So. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that was there was there was still a few a few pieces left, but I think we'll give him the win. But massive congratulations to the two who did a full Ironman five days ago, but the man who did the half to the win. <laughs> We're going to see how that time compares to the second group. Concentration is here. Are you guys ready? Three, two, one, go. <laughs> to your left, what's, what's on your left? On your table. Oh. Come on, Gary, focus. <laughs> nice one. Well, it's hard to know who's ahead here. Hands off, hands off the toys. Well done, guys. I was going to say spin out, but you can't. Good effort. Okay, let's take a look. This one's looking pretty good. Look at the shakes going on here. Yeah, she's trying to smile. Okay, Carrie, can you show us all? James and Emily are looking like they're pretty close. I think we've got third place in the middle. Can I take a closer look at this one? And we need a bit of comparison. I got two jerseys doing this. Is that kind of <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right. Okay, what are we thinking? I think I might have to take this to the audience here. Thinking that, one. that one's more built. It's connected. Yeah. Yeah, Emily. <laughs> Emily, just Emily. Which one, if you didn't know? Yeah, this one's more This one's more built, Charlie. Okay, well, we've got, I mean, 4 nil. So I think Emily is the winner. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Now, guys, don't worry. The final does not involve this again. Excellent. <laughs> um, we will introduce that later on, and it's just a little fun bit to finish up. So, yeah, well done, guys. Thank you. <laughs> all right, guys, you're all looking really nervous, but thank you so much for coming along and just, you know, going with the flow with GTN. We've got one tiny finale for our winners of our heats. So, Lars, you're looking nervous. <laughs> Emily, if you two can just step forwards. We've got a little hula hoop challenge for you guys. One hula hoop each, and it's very straightforward. Basically, <laughs> it's a challenge for the overall winner to see who can hula hoop for the longest. And I'm just going to put the caveat out there: these are really difficult ones, so don't don't feel too yeah, bad about I yourself. Use the <laughs> heavy ones. Ah, oh, so so the professional the professional here says the the equipment isn't up to standard. Okay, I'm gonna. Have you hula hoop before? Yeah, yeah, but really it was a heavy one. <laughs> he actually has! Oh my God! I love this. Okay, all right, well, it's this, this, this challenge won't hurt as much as the previous one, so when you're ready, three, two, one, hula hoop! Oh! Oh! Go, Emily! <laughs> Emily is the winner from the professional hula hooper no, who cracked it's, it's at the it's final it's hurdle. Uh, well, guys, thank you. Oh, look at this, good teamwork. Thank you all for being such great spirits. And yeah, we at GTN wish you best of luck. Hopefully we'll see you all in Kona. So yeah, thank you and well done for making it into the academy. Thank you very much.
Well, guys, hopefully you have all enjoyed this and you've enjoyed meeting the team. I certainly have. Give us a like if so. And remember, you can hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any GTN content. Yay, no!